Hey everybody. So two days from now marks a year since my heart pretty much fell out of my chest while I was playing Keen 5. And now that I've had enough time to recover from that particular ordeal, I think it's about time we move on. So how about some Keen 6 to pick up where we left off? Um, something up with my sound engine? Wonder why it's so soft. Well, if you can't hear it, let me know and I'll try and Actually, you know what? Tonight only, let's do this. That should be plenty hearable now. Uh, looks like there's no story uh, pause to be done here. So basically, here's the deal. Following the events of Goodbye Galaxy, Commander Keen's babysitter was kidnapped from Earth, and Keen must now rescue her in this one-off follow-up. What can I do here? to leave to the left. That is not how it was in 4. Um, okay, good. It's just inherently on. This time, I'm going to make this more exploratory than anything else. Rather than Okay, so now that we have a little more ammo, let's proceed proper. Huh. Those hands represent whether or not we've made it through. Blue water's crossing. That's not the variant that has any strength. I was thinking of something else, and you'll see what that was eventually, I hope. Nothing there. Oh, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. I have no doubt that would have been a hit. hundred of those little, uh, what are they called again? Vivas. A hundred of them is your 100 extra life collectibles. Come on. Come on down. I know you're here. Gotcha. Yeah, here's a new mechanic. Switches. And the letter you see on the right there represents does it belong up or down to work the function. Spikes are still bad for your health. Oh, yeah, that's going to be impossible. No, thank you. 
Obviously anything that looks sweet and sugary in nature is worth points. to the old flag system. Now there is a shareware version of this which has signs up everywhere saying demo. Now this was said to be a bigger game than the entire first trilogy combined. It's true in terms of memory but it's as readily beatable. That's the guy I was thinking took three, the one with the club in his hand. Yeah, that guy won't be beaten that way. That would have been fatal. reason I didn't make this a skill run. <laughs> That's not a stable platform. Yeah, there you go. You can stay on them if they're right side up and ride them, but beware. They jump, you're gone. little critters. Try and line yourself up a shot. Like that. Has it really been a year since I played King? Gems are still the operative keys. Oh. Right, and the sound is different for picking up ammo, too. Come on, boyo. 
mean if you take a tumble down all the way. I wouldn't guess that that switch activates the elevators. I'm not as familiar with this game as I am the first five. Oh, that would have been bad. Uh, it still is bad. I guess I'm going to have to invoke this one for a moment. That's the same fly cheat that I used for five. And I'm literally only going to use it. Necessary to get back in. And I wonder if that activated all the elevators. your speed is with you. Now is there any getting back up there? Or did I need to make some kind of miracle jump? Yeah, what the hell. Let's find out. Pizza is expensive, that's your 5,000 pointer. What's with all that soda? Oh, I get it. That's a shoot drop. And if I were to guess, the door that I... that I saw the other way... Leads to that shoe. What's that? Um, the top side reads okay, and the lower one reads key gem. For those of you who didn't know, I actually learned SGA, the Standard Galactic Alphabet, before I ever learned. Um, I ever learned English. I'm still just as able to read it now as I was then. And for all you fanboys out there that think Minecraft was the first game to ever use it, here's your proof. You are wrong. trip the last elevator. about it. That door leads to the shoe. And that's how to get back. 
Okay. Let's move on. It's a very organic looking dome. First dome of darkness. Makes sense, doesn't it? So we saw another one just south. There's another shoot. No doubt a fatal move just now. Oh yeah, you see all that? That kind of thing will get you killed. What I'm doing right now is unbelievably inadvisable. Only one way back up. Yeah, if you're going to try stuff like that, you better be something special. Now the flying mechanic, if you use it, is the same as Keen 3, or, sorry, Keen, uh, Keen 4 or 5. And that you can basically space jump by holding down... Jump key. Yeah, here's your here's your weave run basically. You better be really good. Alright, at this point I'm just gonna fly around for it. And the big Viva is good for an instant one-up. You might even say this is Keen's calorie count. And remember this trick too. If you're playing for pure exploration, F10Y gets you this. It'll obscure everything in the texture that's not a secret passage. as far as jumping for now. This guy with the big shiny teeth, as you just saw, he'll reflect your shot if you try and get him head on. You gotta get him from above or behind. They call that the impossible pogo trick. The high jump right off of mounting the pogo. 
If your timing is good enough, you can pull off incredible heights with it. Provided, of course, there's some place for you to land. Keen 4, you could pick up the wetsuit as your item, which would allow you to go into 3 2 Lake and swim. trick without the elevator, wouldn't it? So let's work on getting it activated. Side and climb the dome. Might be able to get your hands on more goodies this way. Or find shortcuts. There's one of the items now, which just like the wetsuit in Miragia did, represents the end of the level if you can gra grab it. a better choice here. First things first, flip the switch. and get on quick. The rope and grappling hook. Now remember, we already saw a place where we might be able to make practical use of that. But before we do, let's continue on with other areas that were already open to us. Another dome, for starters. And another fairly slow climb here. Mm -hmm. 
Again, watch yourself here. If you're going to try the direct ascension method. You're never getting out without God mode this way. But, if you're fortunate enough to find the opening in the dome, you can certainly get out that way. But let's instead check out the normal way of doing things. There's no going through there. Watch your step there. By the way, the Sugar Stoopy cereal that the first game references at the end, that bowl of cereal we just picked up was it. Wait, no it wasn't. That was an ice cream sundae. The Sugar Stoopies were in five. My bad, ignore me. Like there may be some back and forth going on here. I have blue, I have yellow. What the hell was he just doing? Was he reading? Okay, another platform got triggered somewhere. down before you do anything reckless here and watch that okay block 
be your best friend here. There we go. There's another bridge we hadn't triggered. With the red gem, you're home free. What's in this teleporter? Luke Foods Inc. Manufacturing plant. Complete with functional conveyor belts. I love it. Remember this area well. You need the blue and red gems to get through. life is a 20,000. Um. And then the score you need to get another one doubles at the time. And I'm thinking that up there is only accessible once you're through the blue and
Think carefully, you'll never find the green gem. And that you have to realize that what you triggered might be back out through those doors. Mm-hmm. 
see if I can find it. By the way, you'll never get back up this way. Eventually, the momentum will level out. But we saw how to reach that gigantic sandwich, so let's just do it. The second biggest sandwich Keen ever saw. Here's the thing, though. The first, to my knowledge at least, was never explained. Alright. So we picked up two major items. And now with the with the rope and grappling hook, cliff is no problem. So what all have we just unlocked here? Let's start with the blue dome. Most definitely in a similar spirit to the domes of darkness. This guy's even tougher than the club blue. If you didn't count, he takes four. Watch your landing there. One good slip, you get fried. speed to beat him head to head like that. You're going to have to be prepared to jump. He's reckless though. He can be run off the edge if there is one. can be done here, as you can see. Oh, 
score run. There is some great risk reward all throughout this dome. If you've got balls enough to try it. If you don't, don't leave the blue, uh, don't leave the blue background. with you. You can run him over the ledge. He'll have a Looney Tunes moment. And for splat, he will go. thousand if you can get a tight enough fall out of that. somehow managed to make it to the other side of the dome, 
Congratulations. What's up this way? Let's let's save the north path for now. Bluetin Manufacturing. Go there. Get lots of distance. Start shooting. Get close enough to the tongue to trigger him coming out. Um. Don't get him. Let him come out first. That's some pretty heavy guard, but you can get it early if you're careful. You may want to trigger an elevator before you go for yellow. jump in easy mode, no problem. Because the jump mechanics get tighter on medium as opposed to hard. Oh, 
find a way to make this drop. That's the one that'll get the 10,000. bug in the hanging, hanging mechanics of steep ledges as opposed to level ones. This game tests you. You're gonna want the impossible pogo trick under your belt.
once all those switches are down, the final elevator to the yellow key should be available. There it is. Once you have it, make your climb back up. Bada bing, bada boom. there is a big B.I. Or is it B.T.? The Bluefin Tower. Welcome to what is essentially the Blue's corporate headquarters. It even looks at you, doesn't it? Second brand. 
same mechanic as the Pyramid of the Forbidden in Cane 4. effectively have to spring yourself off the switch at exactly the right time, which I think you saw me do once tonight, in order to get yourself 20,000. There's the big drop if you want to get that out of the way.
card for the blue star rocket that can fly through the fribulous axe for the third and final item. So now that we have all the items, we can proceed toward the way out of here to the north. Starting with guard post two. Been through once one of these before, obviously. Oh. Yeah, there's been a lot of. It's over before it even started. Had I not had this on. I 
gonna drop something, little guy. Bet a dead end like that containing just a blue glit it means the blue glit's gonna have the color gem. It's like the old adage says, not so tough without your club. I forget whether there were remote locks like that in Keen 5. There may have been one. Get you anything except maybe out. Let's check this out first. Blugville. So now we finally make it to the urban sector of this planet. Doesn't mean they're any friendlier here. Be careful. into the living complex. So this is one hell of an arrangement to live in, too. Found them all a little more carefully than that. In order to secure the rest.
Come this way into the darkness only if you're interested in a high risk, high reward challenge. As you can see, there is a sign that warns you. game. Oh. 
room. You got yourself an elevator here. Or is it just a barrier switch? Hearts are gonna break tonight. Grab it. Here's your secret. Big meals make me sleepy. Fortunately, it's not the secret we needed. We literally just needed passage. And passage we got, so on we go. Uh the ASA? That's supposed to be a hot shot at NASA. Yeah, the Blue Aeronautics and Space Administration. That's precisely what it is. That bouncy boy's invincible.
soon that's where you end up. But if you instead ride the elevator down in the one shot that you've got to do it, you'll make it across and be able to get here. post it looks like. There we go. This one looks pretty much sky based. Thank you. 
guys here are just decoration, don't waste your ammo on them. There's the yellow. Thought I remembered it somewhere. begins. We have the access card which gets us up here. Okay. There are two ways through here. You could go through the blue base management district. Mm -hmm. 
these battles spell out id. That says key gem again. I don't think the color of the sign is actually indicative of anything, really. What I was going for there was the color of the color of the gem. jumps over instead of a steady up down or left right or whatever maneuver this one you're going to need timing and reflex little shade trick adopted from the corner deal in Keen One.
here you have to use these guys to get you through extremely dangerous prospect. If you don't want to do it that way, you can do it this way. The Blue Bay Recreational District. First, destroy the vehicle, and then crush the poor little pilot with your pogo. Same way you might one of those annoying little sky pass from episode 4. He's not so tough without his car, so you don't have to do that to him. But if your pride truly compels you, go for it. The recreational district is by far the easier of the two options. Although, as you can see, it's not without its invincible issues of its own. Those blobs can't have anything done to them either. You can drop right there and be done with it. Or... That's interesting. Invisible wall, apparently. No idea what that was about. I'm sure after being shot at, your pride will 
Oh, for a very cool argument for me. How to get under a low clear clearance like that. I would like to know something. What's behind that door? utilize a save for this one. Just in case. Oh, neat. So if you can find some way up there, that's worth six lives. Okay. So, in Keen 3, on Vorticon 6, you had Messi, a direct knock on the Loch Ness monster of Scottish lore. If you waited just past the final level long enough, she'd come around and pick you up. The same thing happens here with this satellite. Good luck finding air here, by the way. You'll land on Blue Glab Space Station. And you can expect this one to be a big exercise in risk reward being a bonus secret level.
That's it for the fun stuff. Now it's time to get back to business. So wait once more for the satellite. center. Here we go. Do not mess up this first drop. Because if you do, you may not get another chance. sneaky thing. Make sure you look down or you're going to miss a vital key gem. I'm thinking the other red sign may have said danger as well. And I just misread it entirely. Yeah, that's tricky. It's another dash elevator. That one dashes both ways. It ducks away from your jump. Maybe 
you'll need both green and yellow before you or blue, green, and yellow before you proceed. One of these little red bastards has the gem. There's the gem. Get on the safe side and start firing. You can go for more glory if you want to. By going across. It only gets you 10 more shots, so if you're well enough packed, don't bother. If you've got all four gems, you're good in this room. Just watch out, there's two bouncers here. Looks like we got him confused. That sign says no. Don't go through that door. You're gonna end up sent all the way back to the beginning. And look who we have here. Yep, secret's out. Kane's babysitter Molly is the older sister of Mortimer McMire. The nemesis believed destroyed after the events of Goodbye Galaxy. Er, sorry, Invasion of the Vorticons. Well, here's the thing, though. That note Britt left at the end of Episode 5, all written in SGA, that came from McMire. And it mentioned having plans against the universe as opposed to the galaxy. Which would mean he would have to be alive in order to know that far into the timeline. So he wasn't actually destroyed when Keen beat him in Keen 3. Ah, uh, the stupendous sandwich of Chungela 4. That must be the biggest sandwich that Keen, uh, that Keen alluded to, mentioning the one he just gave away. So he meant the pretty girl. Doing okay, how are you? Good. Eight. Don't know. Love you too. So this was a hostage exchange. Yeah, we heard that right. And there you go, that's pretty much your rough point and translation of that letter. Now, when 
Commander Keen and Mortimer McMire Battle for the Universe. That was never officially released, but in the late 2000s, early 2010s, there rose a community of Keen enthusiasts who actually came together and made a trilogy called The Universe is Toast, just to cover this. We will be covering that later in this series. Not much later because I think we found a good way to do this. So probably sometime next week, although I'm not making I'm not making any schedules yet because something may happen any night this coming week that ultimately takes priority. More on that later on, but for now that is it. Have an alpha night.